Good evening, everyone. It's been quite the season for Ishpeming. Despite losing 17 seniors from their back-to-back -back state championship team, this group of hematites fought their way back to Ford Field to take on Detroit Loyola for a shot at a third straight Division 7 title. And of course, the hematites getting ready, getting warmed up and ready to go. Detroit Loyola had a nice drive going to start the game, but Ishpeming's defense stepped up big. Nicholas Lee's pass picked off by Thomas Finnegan on the Hematite seven yard line. So, of course, Ishpeming hoping to capitalize on their first drive. This is from third and six. Sazi Corp gets just enough time to overthrow Dominic Sardini, but that's OK. Nick Commit hauls this in and runs to midfield a 36 yard gain and a first down. A fourth down pass to Luke Julio led to another first down. Then on third and nine, Corp connects with Sardini for 21 yards down to the three yard line for first and goal. Now it took a couple of tries, but Corp sneaks the final half a yard and the two point conversion was good. And just like the past two encounters, the Hematites opened with the lead 8 0. However, this time the Bulldogs would respond on third and five. Pitch goes to Marvin Campbell. He breaks several tackles and gets to the edge. Nice downfield blocking 47 yards for the touchdown and the two point conversion was good. Loyola took a 16 8 advantage into the locker room. Third quarter after a hematite punt Loyola again found the edge. Campbell turns the corner and he isn't looking back very much. 66 yards on this touchdown scamper. He had 21 carries for 215 yards in all four touchdowns. Ishpeming completed two passes for first downs on the next drive, but this knockaway by defensive tackle Ron Seacrest forced a fourth down run that fell short. And Ishpeming's run as Division 7 champs came to an end as they fell 29 to 8. Injured running back Ozzy Hackerinen accepted the runner-up trophy. Disappointed, of course, but this was still a great day to be a hematite. They had a great game plan. They got tough physical kids, but I'll tell you what, so do we. Um, you know, we're a great football team. You got to remember that we're a great defensive football team, and it was very hard to stop this team today. So that tells you how good Loyola is. The first drive we came out, uh, our passing game was on. We were able to give Corp some time, let him make some throws, and we scored first. But after that, it just um, great job by them. They shut everything down and. They're just a great football team. Anything could happen, you know. And one of those drives, we could have popped a ball out and we could have got a fumble, go and scored, and that's a one possession game, but it didn't happen like that. Since Ithaca lost on Friday, Ishpeming had the state's longest winning streak of 33 games for about 18 hours. They end the season at 12 and 1, while Loyola was undefeated at 14 and 0. Two high school hockey, Escanaba and Sioux St. Marie met for the first time this season. It's the Blue Devils that get the early jump. Bobby Price stopped at first, but jams home the rebound. Sioux St. Marie leads 3-1. The Eskimos come right back as Calvin Pinar races up the middle of the ice, finds Nick Aird for the one-timer goal. It's 3-2 after two periods. To the third, Levi Wonder to Chris Lemire, and he gets his second goal of the game, and the game is tied at three. This one goes into overtime off the face off wonder walks in on goal, but he is stopped by Tanner Riator, who stopped 39 shots. And in the end, the Eskimos and Blue Devils play to a 3 3 tie in Escanaba. Meanwhile, in the WCHA, Michigan Tech completes the sweep of Alabama Huntsville with a 5 2 victory. Five different Huskies scored, and they now head into a bye week before their series with Minnesota Duluth. And the puck just dropped in Alaska for the Nanooks and Wildcats, and NMU fell 3 0 to Alaska last night. It was a big day for two Huskies, and Ben Stelzer went off for 32 points in day two action at the SMSU Classic against Wayne State College. Michigan Tech won 75 56. As for the women, Kelly Guy knocked down seven three point shots as the women came back to win 70 61 over Minnesota State today. Meanwhile, at the same SMSU Classic, the NMU men's team fell 78 58 to Southwest Minnesota State despite 19 points from Jordan Perez. Dot com and Rebecca and I got to say, of course, Munising Ishpeming, just great representation for both UP teams down at Ford Field as they battle for their state title teams. Unfortunately, we didn't get trophies, but you know what? These guys really so showed resilience and great play uh, in Detroit. I think it's amazing to even make it this far to have two teams in the UP. I think it's awesome. Next year, they're set up for a good game. Yes, they I'm are. It, <laughs> it was cool because a lot of the people were tweeting that they were hearing uh, hearing UP power throughout Ford Field. Right, yeah. So that's just amazing to hear and just great seasons for both these teams. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot, Lily. When you return, see what one grocery store all across the UP is doing to support the TV6 Canathon coming up on your TV6 Late News.